Hello everyone, this is Virtual Reality Dungeons & Dragons, the capstone project for John Brody, Spencer Poole, and Matthew Starshvik. Our main goal for this project is to provide a virtual reality experience in a Dungeons & Dragons-like setting with an emphasis on adherence to the rules of Dungeons & Dragons version 3.5. We've built the game demo using the Unity game engine. All of the scripting has been done in c -sharp, which is the scripting language that Unity relies upon. HTC Vive Virtual Reality Kit has been used during testing. The equipment needed to play are two handheld controllers, each having several methods of input, such as a directional pad, a grip button, and a trigger. A headset is also needed. Each piece of equipment is tracked through 3D space by motion sensors. The underlying rules of the game are largely dictated by rules in version 3.5 of the Dungeons and Dragons. The player and enemies each have their own character sheet scripts that provide them with their statistics such as strength, dexterity, as well as their health points. Scripts also give enemies their behavior such as attacking once noticing the player and having their physical stats contribute to how successful they are in fighting the player. Objects are interactable via scripts that are written to give custom behavior to them. Scripts allow the player to pick up items, stash them in the inventory, take them back out of the inventory, throw items, open containers, pick locks, and fight enemies. Values in the player's character sheet are referenced by the attacking enemy, and on the other hand, the enemies are referenced by the character sheet as well. Our environment for the dungeon has six rooms in total across three different elevations. Um, we wanted this to provide the player with an immersive experience and be able to wander around and really explore the area, as our intention at the beginning of the semester was to have this be playable. Assets were modeled and animated in Blender 3D, which is a free modeling software. Um, all assets were imported into Unity and scripted. Nine of our assets were modeled and created from scratch. Objects can be interacted with by picking them up, moving them around, and throwing them. The scripting is used to highlight interactable objects when a hand hovers near them, as well as when the hand is near them, pressing the grip button will allow them to attach to the hand, and then pressing the grip button again will detach the object from the hand. The heads-up display is situated in 3D space near the user's knees to keep it out of the way of the player's vision during normal gameplay. The health decreases based on the character's statistics when they are hit by a successful attack from an enemy. Uh, the inventory pops up in 3D space directly in front of the user and can be accessed during real time. The user can deposit items they find into empty inventory slots and then retrieve them out of the inventory as well. Lock picking can be accomplished with tools found on the player's left wrist, um, and then interacting with the lock allows them to rotate the picks with audio and vibration feedback to tell the player that they are picking correctly. Traps are scattered about the dungeon, hidden in the floor, and are triggered by a script that detects the player's entry onto a specified floor plate. Enemies are scripted to check for the player with uh, listen and spot checks. And once the player has been spotted or heard, combat is triggered and the enemy is considered in combat and moves to the player while calling attack functions and chasing them. Enemies also patrol using a waypoint system while they are not in combat. And now we have a video demonstration.